Yo, yo. Man, you got your boy, it's your boy Lil D-Lo, AKA Lil Loader, man. I just jumped out the porch with my boy Dirty Glove Bells. No cap on it. They walk in like 20 deep. When I walked in, I didn't see with me. Racks up in my pocket, fresh folk in my hairline on flea. All these. All right, today we got Lil D Lo out the porch with us today. Yo, hey, yeah, you got your boy Lil D Lo, aka Lil Loader, man, live from Jackson, Mississippi, man. Wish Jess be a snack, but I fuck with them folks I know. Know what I mean? Did Lil Lo in this bitch. Turn me up. For sure, man. How you feeling, man? Shit, I'm feeling great. Took what me. you was saying when you first walked in the door? Nigga, we made it. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> it took me long enough. You know? It took me long enough to get here, but I watch this shit every day before yeah. I go to sleep. I don't even watch TV on my For But sure. I am up here, though. For sure. It's a pleasure to have you up here with us, gang. Why, gang? That's what's going on. For sure. How that drive was up here? Shit, all right. You know, technically different to a little shit, but we all right. For sure. We in this bitch. For sure. Mean? Show. What that is on your face? Man, ain't nothing but some. Don't make me lie. It just look good. So I just okay. got these bitches on your Gave them. I just gave them. Like bad say. For sure, man. For sure. For real. So it how it was coming up out there in Jackson, Mississippi, bro? Shit. Rough and rugged, but you know, nigga had to dealt this life. But like everybody else, like Atlanta, thugging. You know what I mean? But shit. Shit, it more killing and shit. It rough down there, though. Like, no dope pop, like, wicked. Like, Chirac, you hear me? But it's still some money. Nigga getting money out there, too, though. You hear me? Yeah. I'm just saying, bad, bad bitches and shit, but you yeah. know, kind of rough out there, man. Like everybody, like everybody else. Oftentimes, you know what I'm saying, we hear about Mississippi, they think it's like country and shit. So you don't really hear about what's no! going on. No! Yeah. Man, that's some Collins or some old shit. <laughs> Big Bird, we from Jackson. <laughs> I'm talking about Jacktown. You ever wish that at all? We yeah. got a number of real numbers out there. Yeah. Come out there to my motherfucking country. Okay. Wipe down. I don't know why this ass down fast. What? Okay. Man, wipe down fast. Why you think they be saying like shit about the Jack? But they talk shit about the, the state overall. They think the whole state on some country shit. They now don't know what really do. Come fuck with them. Right. Tell me when they get down there, come fuck. We'll take that to the church. We'll take that <laughs> where they really, really taking it. I'm talking about wet it up, snout it up, air run up, beamed up, at all. You know what I mean? Yo, we, we, we like that. Ain't no motherfucking sure. country. No, we might sound country, but ain't shit country about us. For sure. Not at all. So take us from the bottom, man. How would you describe your childhood coming up out there? Shit. Ooh, it was like. Shit, I was bad as a motherfucker. It was all right. I had my mom, sometime my dad, but childhood, like I did some dangerous shit. I been through so much shit. Like childhood and now I lost so many people. Like I can't even count on my hands and toes. Like the same year, I lost so many people and been through so much shit, but a nigga still managed to stay focused here and try to do that murder shit. But I lost a lot of people, dude. Like I did some fucked up shit, you know what I mean? Got away with some fucked up shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Got cursed for some fucked up shit. But through it all, I stood tall, like, it's just like any other hood, man. Thugging, man, gambling, hustling, selling shirts, shoes, she shooting die, playing card, like, trying to get it. Motherfucker yeah. bid a hundred dollars or a dollar, I'm gonna beat you racing. Yeah. Like, my mentality was always get a bank roll and get the fuck up out of this bit, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I always get some money so you can make it out. But this rap shit, I've been wanting to do this shit my whole life. It ain't nothing that I used to play basketball, I didn't want to do this shit. Nah, I've been doing this shit since I was little. Yeah. Since I was a kid, since I was a baby. Like, I've been been singing and shit, you hear me? Usher and shit, you know, I be meditating. I don't just rap, I sing, rap. I mean, Crip Brown, Broadway, <laughs> Lil Baby, you hear me? Big Shyster. Yeah. Yo, I'm doing all we on all that. Like, you know, in other neighborhoods, bro. Just rough, thug. But we still here, though. Know? That's real. Shit, sure. So when would you say you jumped off the porch with it? Um, like it's plenty of ways that like, okay, like jumped out the push really, really like thugging, like let's talk about both ways, right? Let's talk about thugging, let's talk about music, okay, then let's and talk about you know what I'm saying, okay, um, business. I jumped out the push probably like, like actually off the push probably like 14, 15, but really like 15, but like. The music shit, I've been doing this shit so long. I've been doing it. I used to get free food from McDonald's and shit, singing. So I used to fuck bitches, like, if my cousin don't want a bitch, they come get them, they gonna come get me and tell me to sing for, and, you know what I mean? But like, with the hustle scene, I've been out the porch and I was like, Lil, gambling, you know what I mean? Trying to get it, like, shooting it out, like all type of shit, but you know what I mean? I've been out the porch though, like, I was like 15, for sure. So what would you say made you get out in the streets at a young age? She, my cousin them, my people them, thugging. My um, brother them, she, Papa out them, Nuka them, like, 
Just thugging, it's trying to blood. follow, trying to follow up on, trying to follow up on my people, yeah. seeing the shit they do and embracing the shit they do. You hear me? Like niggas I already was in the street, ain't never want to go home. You know what I mean? Just like watching my people really do my people and drill that shit in our head when we were little. You know what I mean? We gotta do this, we gonna have to do this, we can't do this, but we gotta do this. You know what I mean? They watching my people, my older people, bro. Watching all the shit like TV and shit, that shit a fucking nigga up too. Watching yeah. the bad movies, you know what I mean? All type of shit, bro. Hot boy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ball of black, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Shout out to Ball of Black, and that's that motherfucking movie, boy. That's that bitch. They don't know shit about that. The kid, you don't think they make rappers make movies and shit like that no more, like Cash Money or nothing like that no more, bro? Ball of Black? Hell yeah. Man, they was ready to re put that bitch on the I'm market. I'm trying that to tell go you, gold. bro. That shit used to go <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that bitch go go. Hell yeah. That bitch go go. I fuck with it. All type of shit. So, what would you say that you liked about the streets for yourself? I know you said you watched your people and shit to get out that mud and shit, but what did you like about the streets yourself? Oh, uh, like mingling. You can meet, you can meet a lot of people in the street. You know what I mean? Like fucking with people, linking up, getting some money. I don't like the money out of all this shit. I don't like shit about the street, cause the street don't like me. The street don't love nobody. But like shit, you can get a lot of shit out the street too. If you just listen and be wise, you know what I mean? But you can bump your head in the street. But like, for so far, like the street, bro, it really just shaped me up. You know what I mean? Just tighten me up. That's what I like about the streets. Tighten me up. My in my city, like it tighten the nigga ass up the right way. Like showing what can't go on, didn't go on. Like be on your square, trust nobody. You know what I, mean? I just like about the streets. It sharpened me up. It made me more wild. It made me be like, fuck the streets. The streets ain't nothing. I don't even want to be in them bitches like at all. I'm trying yeah. to give me some money. And pray God. I don't even fuck the streets. I'm not even street. Yeah. I'm a rookie. <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to give me a money roll. Straight up. Show. So. What type of bullshit would you say you encountered that made you just draw the line and was like, fuck it, I want to get out the streets? Shit, and all my people started getting killed. Like, my, I, man, I lost so many people. Like, all my people started getting killed. My brother and cousin, them got up 20 years and 10 years behind this shit. Like, I ain't going to seek daylight when I ain't going to be able to see them again. You know what I mean? Like, and then they telling me their story. Like, man, but really, death, though, death fucked me all the way up. Like, and, and trustworthy, but they fuck me up, fuck my brain up. I seen so much devil, this shit, like, they really just told me, hell no, nah, you can't do that. But I was real spiritual when I was bad. You know, you got bad spiritual nigga. Like, I was real spiritual when I was bad. I was listening to God. I always go on my first mind, like, but death, that death shit fucked me up, though. Just death, I say death. Yeah. Death in prison, what my people did, like yeah. time and shit, yeah. And knowing what's right and knowing what's wrong. What would you say was the biggest effect that death had on you overall? Oh, shit. I was, um, I think I was 13, 14. Me and my, me and my cousin, like, keep on pier. We were thugging to the make, like, standing on business, like, I ain't gonna get into detail, but we were thugging. But shit, one day I got up, one day I got up in the morning, I was going to Capital City, that's a turnage school. One day I got up, but shit, when I got up, like I was feeling weird. Then I had a thousand missed calls. But I ain't thinking nothing of it because I'm calling it back and I ain't answer. I went to school, I got on the bus, went to school, but in my mind, I'm stuttering saying like, damn, I feel something wrong. Like something wrong, like what's going on, something wrong. I got a little partner when I got to the school, I got a nigga named Kwa, man. I was going to school with my little people. I got to the school, I told Kwa like, damn, Kwa. Some shit going on, bro. I don't know what it is. I feel it, bro. Keep on answering the phone. Somebody, a lot of people been calling me. Quiet telling me, it good, good, good. Okay, school, get out. I fuck around there. Get on the bus and got out. Like, some told me get off with my cousin stop. I got off with my, well, I was gonna get off with my stop, but I seen my cousin stop. I had a lot of cars in that bitch. So I got off the bus. Man, the girl, one of my, one of my people, friend girl, Ran up to me crying and shit to my key one, key one, key one. I said, what, key one, what? He in jail, what you do? He dead. Oh my God, I blanked out, I went crazy. Like, yeah. that shit fucked me up. Like, <clears throat> that shit fucked me up bad. Like, for a minute, nigga was saying, fuck life, nigga, I already die. You know what I mean? Cause my people die. There's somebody I sleep with every day, run with every day, do bad shit with every day, fuck hoes with every day, fight every day, like my cousin and my other hell. That shit fucked me up. I fuck around it. That shit fucked me up bad though. Like. That shit fucked me over though. Emotion too, but that shit fucked me up bad. That was really fucked me up. My yeah. people. 
I mean, when you say, what you say that what death hurt the most? Yeah. Or uh, something like that. Yeah, my cousin Q1. But I done lost a lot of niggas to this shit, though. Like, all them bitches hurt. My uncle Fool, he got shot. He got shot. And his stepdaughter, I mean, what you call that? Yeah, his stepdaughter house. They mistake him for another nigga who looked just like him, fat, black, and bald head. And they shot my uncle with a 12 gauge. I love that fuck. My uncle was a nigga like, you know, Frank Lucas type of nigga, you know, yeah. holiday, he giving out everybody. Big U-Haul full of toys and shit with criminal. Like, like my uncle was the one. When he see us, telling us what to do, thumping us, giving us honey to spell word. I'm talking about my uncle was that dude. Like, yeah. that dude. My mama, that shit fucked me up too. He got hit in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, that door in law house chilling. My mother kicked the door in and shot him with a 12 gauge looking for somebody else. But shit. Then my uncle Joe Bill. I love Joe Bill, um, my uncle Joe Bill, Dollar Bill, and my auntie husband. I love Joe Bill, um, the little, little freak he was fucking with. My uncle old now, keep in mind, he about 42. But the bitch probably like 19, 20, 18 years. <laughs> um, my mom was real. But okay, they tell me the story. Um, my uncle fucking out with the bitch, but they had been arguing and shit. The bitch been calling her people know. But I ain't know about this. I'm in the street, but, um, they robbed my uncle, they robbed my uncle, hit him in the head with a sludge hammer. They threw him out in front of the <coughs> university. It's a hospital in Mississippi called University. Mm. Jackson, Mississippi, threw him out in front of the university. Man, a lot of them, man. I don't even want to tell you. You know what I mean? A yeah. lot of shit for me, up. Like, I'm still here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of shit impacted on it. So, how was your healing process with all the suffering, all the losses you was taking? Um, shit, it, it was different. It was different tight, like. I had turned to, like, I, never, I, I ain't never do drugs. I had turned to drug, like, I know hard to, like, Percocet and, like, like, drink and weed, but I had stopped that weed. That weed shit was never me, but. And that studio, that studio, man, that shit helped me so much, bro. I swear for God. That studio saved my life, like, and saved me from crashing out my life. That studio is, that studio is ours, bro. I don't love shit more than I love that music, like, yeah. nothing. It ain't nothing in the world I love more than I love that microphone at, at all. But that music did it for me though. That studio helped me with a lot of shit. Sure. You hear me? And just and just seeing a lot of shit and just like before I got numb to it, cause it got to the point like I'm numb to death. Like a nigga can't cry. Like nigga can't even though it hurt. It can be like cause I'm numb to it. Man, I don't even go to funeral no more. I been through so much shit. But that studio, <clears throat> that studio and that and them drugs. Percocet and shit, yeah. Help me just vibe and stay in my zone, you know what I mean? So, would you say making music is therapeutic to like, you know, exploit your pain out on the mic? Exactly, hell yeah, that's what I do it for. That's what I do it for, meditation. I call it meditating. I be meditating on this shit, that's what I do it for though. Hell yeah. Like, you go, any song you pull up, L-I-L-D-E-L-O, any song you pull up is all facts. Yeah. Like, when I don't rap, I paint pictures. Like I illustrate. I with that. Like I tell you what's going on. Like what him, why him, how him, what happened, how, what happened after it him. You hear me? Yeah. Like yeah, I'm gonna break it down. Like oh shit. Yeah. Like I don't just base like basically rap. Basically, that shit too easy. I fuck over the rap game. Like this shit other niggas be doing. But I I illustrate. Like I tell you what's going on, why yeah. going on, how going on, and what I did to stop it from going on. Or what I do to make it go on. You know I mean? That's real. Paint picture, right? Illustrate. I ain't no rebel. I'm so, an would you say it's easy or it's hard to retell those stories when you in the studio? Man, shit, easy. Pull the microphone up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cut up on that bitch. Pull the beat on. <laughs> Pull the beat on. Man, what? Man, that low. That shit, easy. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck with baby now. Tell baby, tap in with me. I know you got. I know you got. I know you got. I know you got. What's name, with baby? Oh, I tell baby, tap in with me. Yeah. I'm gonna eat his ass up. He hard and I don't eat his ass on. I don't come in, baby. I'm coming hard. Ah. Jack. Yeah, I'm like, this shit easy. This shit so easy, bro. I do this shit like chilling. Like I close it. You know what I mean? Cause it's natural. I ain't gotta write it down. I used to write it. I used to write it, but I ain't got so so right it just saying this shit out my dome. Just saying this shit. Like, I, I got a big brother, nigga named Bob B. He be rapping this shit. I watch him do this shit. Like, and I just suck in like Came a monster, like I never write, but I'm, but it's done though. It is. Mm. It is.
Would you say it's hard to make it out of Jackson, Mississippi? Hell yeah, y'all don't fuck with Jackson. Oh yeah, he, like these people don't fuck with Jackson. Why, 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 you, why you feel like that though? Nah, y'all ain't came and got nobody yet, bro. All these, man, we working, bro. A lot of people working, but I'm working. I'm talking about me, y'all ain't came and got me yet. <laughs> My boo said, what about me? Y'all gotta come fuck with a nigga. Jackson, Mississippi, I know we ain't got too much, you know what I mean? Big Celeri, nobody, but what nigga name? David Bounding, but they yeah, they oh, they washed up, man. Y'all gotta come fuck with it. Whoever you know, man, please point that light toward Jackson, Mississippi. Please, bro. Man, y'all gonna get rich the first week. Man, we raw at this shit. I'm raw at this shit. From singing to humming to meditating, like, man, y'all gotta fuck with this city, bro. Motherfuckers don't fuck with this city because they don't know this shit. They know Memphis, whatever they know, Alabama. Y'all come fuck with Jackson, bro. Y'all gonna get rich. Why you feel the spotlight ain't never hit Mississippi like it should have? I don't know, bro. Like, shit, Mississippi crab in a bucket. Ain't no unity. Like, well, it be unity, so it be fake unity. Like, this shit ain't where it live. And then a lot of niggas scared to change the money. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas scared to, even though a lot of niggas ain't got the money. I'm gonna I'm, I'm bag up on that. A lot of niggas ain't got the money, cause it ain't, it ain't no nigga priority, it ain't no nigga business to invest in you. Invest, you gotta go get this shit yourself. They did it, everybody they got the same 24 hour. Yeah. But if a nigga invest in you, that's a real ass nigga. Yeah. Come from where I'm from, they had to work hard for this shit, bro. Dodging the police, the rats, the setup hole, the killers, the robbers. Man, nigga take chances for this shit. Man, nigga take your head off of this shit in my city. Oh, my mama, they're hungry. I'm talking about 10, like, 3, 4K, nigga on your ass. Man, nigga on your ass in my city, bro, about that, about that loop. Hell yeah, man. That's real. You gotta be a lion coming out of that bitch. So why do you feel it's so hard to make it up? Shit, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Somebody gotta break that. You gotta be a breaking point. I'm gonna be the one to break that bitch. Somebody gotta come out of that bitch, because ain't no I gonna be on Jackson, Mississippi, bro. I, don't, I be watching so many interviews, so many, like, you know what I mean? I don't never hear no nigga say nothing about Jackson, Mississippi. If it do, it'll be a nigga that I already made, like probably comedian or just say Mississippi, but they won't say Jackson. We had a rapper named Lil Lenny. Screw me. R.P. Lil Lenny. Man, he was, he was hard, bro. Lil Lenny, man. The GOAT. That nigga hard as fuck. Coming from Jackson. I remember one time I had texted that nigga, I think I was about. 13, 14. I say, say, bro, what you gonna charge for a fridge? I need a fridge. Man said, 1500. I say, oh, fuck. <laughs> In my mind, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get 1500. I don't fuck too. Oh, now I don't fuck. Oh, man, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get 1500. <laughs> man, I was like, man, fuck that nigga. Man, I ain't paying no nigga no 1500. I'm a rapid as that. I'm so bad then. But, but like, now I understood where he came from when he said 1500, cause like, a nigga put so much in this shit, so much money in this shit. My damn nigga, we broke out believing in what I believe in, my music shit. Man, I spent so much money on this music shit, bro. By myself. Like, video 500. I was shooting a bitch three times a week recently. Like, you can go look, man, I got so much work. I, mean, I got more work than any nigga coming out of Mississippi. The state of Mississippi, I got more video than any nigga out of the state of Mississippi. And I ain't even started yet. Fact. Like shit, it gonna it need a breaking point though. Breaking point, little low, the D low gonna break that bitch. Speaking man. about ops, man, how hard would you say it is to dodge the haters in Jackson, Mississippi, man? Oh my god, that shit infested with haters. Mm. I don't want no beef with no nigga. I don't want no smoke with nobody. Cause the brokest niggas got the most energy. The most brokest nigga got the most energy. They ain't got shit to do. They just broke bummish bitches. And then a lot of these niggas don't even be hard, them niggas be fabricated. Man, catch one of them niggas by themselves, they gon' shit on themselves. On my head. Them niggas ain't hard. When you hard, you walk around, they be like low. These little gon' ride ride around the whole city, how about the whole city? <coughs> one D. Me and that burner, cause I know I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna fuck what you say, what you hear, I ain't gonna do it. Try me, I'ma bun your bitch ass. Like, I don't even be worried about niggas. But they would've caught me like four, five years later, I'll be on their ass, like white on rice on my mama. I'm trying to make it out though, man. Jax, it's 2022. Why the fuck are you steady trying to beef and fuck with ops? Hey, bro, I don't want no smoke with you. I bow down. I don't want to beef with no ops. You broke bitch ass nigga. Man, I be. I'm trying to get it. Man, I got responsibilities. I'm trying to take care of my people. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the moolah. Man, this shit got to give, bro. 
Thank God, bro, nigga, here 24 years old for nothing. Man, I want that bag and I'm gonna get that bag. Yeah. I'm gonna get that bag. Straight I don't up. want no beef, no. I ain't got no out. So yeah. how important it is to have a solid support system around you? I see you got your guys with you. Who you brought with you today, man? Introduce Shit, they gonna introduce they self. Them member? Hey, man, it's your boy LBG Longway Chicken in, man. I don't even know what it is. No cap on that. LBG Capo, Fofo. Yo, Cap. Where you at, cuz? LBG Slim, baby. Yo, Cap. Slim like baby, boy. So, Slim City, bro. So. Slim played the back like, like, he played the back like a fat nigga. Yeah. And we had him win real paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, real paper, too. Really had real shit, though. This shit really real. Yeah, real paper, though. For sure. Tell us what that GME shit stand for. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! That bitch got so many branches. Man, that bitch right. See what I mean? That bitch mean get money and tea. That's the original. Like when I was little. But like, grandma every day. I can take you through this stuff. You hear me? GME, that's the biggest. GME, the biggest of them all. That's why they hate me. I read between the lines behind my back. You want to face me. You hear me? Oh, okay. Another ho, another little hoe, say, but eat your bitch, you trying to raise me. Listen, the gym, you shit though. It shit started like when I was about 12. We had it, it was about five, but it was me, Jimmy Monk, Jimmy DJ, Jimmy Yo Diddy, Jimmy Lucky. We were walking the shit, we were thugging though. We, we weren't even bringing no how, we open that tool on nigga. But one day we were just chilling, we, we seen, we was on some shit on Facebook. Facebook was booming back then, about eight, nine, eight years ago. Seen some shit. Nigga had them group. But I say shit. We said we gotta come up with a group. I gonna move. We gotta come up with a group, bro. One nigga say the money team. The other nigga say BML. And we tripping out rolling. And I say G on me. G on me. What G on me? Get money and tea. Nation. And we ran with it. I, the G on me shit. Not that behind this shit. I got this shit telling blood. Damn boy, I wish you could see this shit. Big ass G on me. That bitch so here. I show you in a minute. That be hurt. Like, you GM me shit. Got this shit tell on me. GM me or die. GM me when I was 12. I stand on that. GM me in the d -Lo. They know what GM me mean. The world sure. know. That mean grind mode every day and getting money in tea. All money count. Hustling ambition. Never teach the grind. Them branches, them just branches I'm laying off them bitches. You know what I mean? All type of shit. You know what I mean? Play away, play away. I got, I got clothing line and shit. See, I'm dumb. This my shit. I dumb this shit. Well, I say yeah, fuck with my damn I got some play. I got you, I got you. Sure. So what's your goal with your music career? And what is it that you want listeners to take from your music? True, honest. Like, my goal is to make it like, like, man, my goal is to sell out are arenas with my life. It just ain't music. Like I told you, I paint pictures of my art. My, job, my goal is to have everybody in the world hear me out. What I'm going through, what I've been through, what it is and what it ain't. Like, and move my people, like all my people away from that bitch ass, wicked ass city, you hear me? My goal is to get rich, man. Like, have me some kids, what well, I ain't gotta be down there. All my people, we thugging, racing in track house. Like, we already doing this shit. Big brother already, like, like, you know, living, you know what I mean? Like, baby, them, like, Jay Z, them, like, hoping them. We trying to, yeah. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of this shit. Like, I want them merge you with my life. I love this shit. I just want the whole world to hear me, what I got to say, and how I'm coming, and what I stand for. Straight up. Show. Pain, baby. Pain, baby. Pain, baby. My fucking ride away, shout out ride away, sickest artist in the music group in the world. Shout out ride away. That's real, man. Yeah. Show. You got any last words and shout outs for us, little D-Lo, man? Listen, nah. I just want to let them folks know, bro, what's going on with this shit, man. You know me, the biggest of them all. LBG, the biggest of them all, man. They know Lil' Low run the city. Now I got to see, oh, you said I got to see that. I'm ready to act up, boy. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Shit. I just want to let them folks know what's going on, man. Yeah. Shit. You know me, one the world. Lil' d -Lo is on the way. I just did that hot ass single, too. That bitch called Man No, with um, D Moolah. You know D Moolah, yes, huh? Yes, I fuck with my boy. That's my dog. I just did that single with him. That bitch from the drop. But we got some more shit coming, too. Not just him with all the artists. I just want them folks to know. D-Lo is on the way. And when he come, 
He ain't come to play. I just want God, boy, I'm with the Nick. I want me 750 for a show. I just heard baby on some song. They say he gets 750 for a show. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a lot of money to bust down <laughs> with the click. What? Oh, I just a bank to bust down every night, every weekend. Yeah, but I just want them folks to know, man. Lil D-Lo, he stand on GME, man. It's your boy Lil D-Lo, a.k.a. Lil Loaded. A.k.a. Lil D. Free Boozilla, free Paw Paw, free New Main, like Freedom Memo, man. Free Lil D. You know what I mean? Long live Fool. Long live Big Daddy. Long live Katel. Long live Autumn Bro. Long live TK, man. We thinking. It is what it is, man. GME for life, man. Pause up, man. Down. Free Paw Paw. Nines under my times up, nigga. Hey, Mula. Man, Mula, Mula, Mula said, get in that bit. Tell the camera what's up, Mula. What's up with it, man? Put on your mic, man. What's up with all the money shit going on, man? Yeah. Oh, that boy up them hundreds. Boy, you see that shit on the floor? This shit on the floor. All them niggas in Detroit, man, this shit on the floor. Hey, tell me shit on the floor, baby. No cap, gang. Yeah, that was going on. I don't know. Remember? I got a little couple of points, man. That's all. <laughs> Hey, that was going on though, bro. You like shit. Shout out to Dirty Girl Bless, Dirty Girl Bless for having What's me up so, here, man. man. Out the porch, I done find jump out the porch. Well, really, I've been out the porch. What you say when you walked in? <laughs> Nigga, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, we made it. Bitch, we out the porch. Yeah, we coming big fat, sway in the morning. Breakfast club, we on the way, man. I'm going to harder behind this shit. Jimmy to D I E, the D Lo. Straight up. They walk in like 20 deep when I walk down they see with me Racks up in my pocket, fresh and fuck in my hairline on fleet All these niggas flies, no liquid, I ain't 